have now UN Watch. Thank you, Mr. President. Madam High Commissioner, thank you for calling attention to the victims of torture. My father was tortured by a vicious regime, so I know what it means. Thank you for spotlighting discrimination in Tibet, the violation of women's rights in Sudan, and the shooting of human rights defenders in Russia. Thank you also for putting a spotlight on the Islamic Republic of Iran, its fraudulent elections in June, brutal arrest of peaceful protesters, murder of Neda and other innocents, and rape of female and male detainees. Detailed evidence of these horrific crimes was released this week by opposition leader Mehdi Karoubi. This is the government that tortured my father. And sitting next to me is Ahmad Batebi in this room. They tortured him for nine years for attending a student protest. This is the government that has at least 160 juveniles on death row in violation of Article 3 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 6 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, and Article 70, Set 37 of the Convention of the Rights of the Child. The evidence is documented in this new report by Stop Child Executions entitled From Cradle to Coffin, a Report on Child Executions in Iran. Madam High Commissioner, you spoke of human rights, courage, and political will. Mr. Batebi and I are here today to present this appeal by 50 Iranian human rights defenders. We urge you to call for an immediate special session of this Council to investigate Iran's gross violation of all basic human rights and to take action to protect the victims. After June, the world knows President Ahmadinejad does not represent the people of Iran. The people of Iran want freedom, democracy, and human rights. The abuse are getting worse and worse by the day. There's no time to spare. Please, we need your help. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. I, I will now give the floor to the distinguished delegate of the Islamic Republic of Iran. With regard to the statements made by, to the statement made by the UN Watch this morning, my delegation, while rejecting the uh, unsubstantiated allegations therein, would like to remind the pertinent rules of procedures which stress on accuracy and decency in addressing human rights issues before this august body. I thank you, Mr. President. 